What's going on car family? I'm Ben Wayne and today we're going to be doing a brief review on the Ferrari California. The Ferrari California is a 2 plus 2 hardtop convertible. It was introduced to the public in 2008 at the Paris Motor Show. It revised the name of the 365 California and the 250 GT California of the 1950s. Even though the Ferrari California is considered entry level of the Ferrari lineup, there's several factors that make this car really special. For instance, it's the first Ferrari to have a retractable hardtop, it's the first Ferrari to feature a dual clutch transmission, and it's the first Ferrari to feature a V8 in the front. Now let's take a quick look at some of the exterior features of the Ferrari California and see what makes this car so special. The Ferrari California features 20 inch aluminum alloy forged wheels. It also has carbon ceramic brakes in the front and the back. Now Ferrari made sure that the carbon ceramic brakes in this car aren't as sensitive as the other carbon ceramic brakes in their lineup. After all, it is a grand touring vehicle. One of the features that gives the Ferrari California a real aggressive appearance are the headlight clusters. If you look here, you'll see that you have daytime running LED headlights, you have LED turning signals, and you have bi-xenon projector headlamps. Now let's go over some of the characteristics of the rear of the Ferrari California. If you look, you'll see that the Ferrari features LED tail lamps. Pretty neat. Now coming further down, you have stacked exhaust. The Ferrari never incorporates anything on the car just because it looks nice. When the car moves at high speeds, air pressure builds up in the wheel wells. So Ferrari incorporated the use of a vent to expel air pressure. Now, to help expel air pressure, Ferrari noted that the traditional side-by-side -side exhaust wasn't as efficient as the stacked exhaust. So that's the reasoning behind the stacked exhaust in the back of the Ferrari California. The reason I said that the Ferrari California is considered a two plus two before is the fact that it has two small seats in the back but let's be real, there is nobody who could fit in the back here. One of the exterior features that set the Ferrari California apart from the rest of the Ferrari lineup are the side heat extractor vents that have a line that go across the door all the way up into the trunk. And it kind of defines the fact that the trunk has been raised to create space for the retractable hardtop. Now what makes the Ferrari California so special is that it's Ferrari's first retractable hardtop convertible. Let me give you a quick demonstration on how it works. Now that we've discussed some of the exterior features of the Ferrari California, let's take a look inside and see what this car has to offer. Let's take a quick look at the door panel of the Ferrari California. Uh, the top is covered in soft black leather. Uh, I kind of wish there was some stitching going across the top, but it's a Ferrari, that's okay. And then coming further down, you have stitching going across here in black and you have a door handle here and controls for your power side view mirrors. Starting from the top of the dash it's covered in leather and then you have two large jet inspired air conditioning vents. I really like the style of that. Coming further down you have your infotainment system with your telephone, navigation, USB ports, auxiliary input, open and close for your CD player. Coming further down you have your button for your hazards and you have dual zone climate control down here. Coming down towards the lower portion of the center console, this button puts you in automatic mode so you don't have to use the paddles to shift, and this button is for reverse. Coming further back, this button controls the hard top and your two power level windows. And if you open this compartment here, you have one cup holder and a little bit of storage. The steering wheel to the Ferrari California is pretty nice. It has perforated side bolsters and leather on the top and bottom as well. It also features your engine start and stop button and controls for your different driving modes. Now, if you look at the back of the steering wheel, you have two large aluminum paddle shifters in case you want to drive this car in manual mode. Now, one of the cool features about the Ferrari is that it focuses on the tachometer. It's large and it's yellow, and I really like that. You can also order the tachometer in different colors depending on how you spec the car. Now, there's also a screen on the left side of the tachometer, which displays information such as oil temperature and outside temperature and tire pressure. Now, let's take a look and see what's under the hood of this Italian supercar. Once 
once you open the hood, you're gonna find the 4.3 liter V8 from the Ferrari F430. This V8 is capable of producing 453 horsepower and 357 pound-feet of torque for a zero to 60 time of around four seconds. Traditionally, most Ferraris have the engine sitting behind the occupants. The Ferrari California, however, has the engine sitting in the front, though it's still considered mid-engine. The reasoning behind this is the fact that the engine sits behind the front axles of the car. Therefore, it's classified as a front mid-engine supercar. Now let's close the hood and hear how that Italian V8 sounds. It's one of my favorite brands, so I was really excited to do this car. I want to thank the viewers for watching. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.